So behind me is our 2017 6.7 Power Stroke. And from the factory, it's outfitted with an air to water intercore that's of a stack plate design. So we heard about the failures of the OEM units. So we set out to make a unit that's much stronger. It's a cast aluminum bar and plate intercooler that does make gains on a factory tune, but also can withstand the constant high boost of a tuned truck. So engineering this beast took months of development. So let's take a look back at all the torture tests that we put this thing through. In this situation, we have a 6.7 air to water intercooler off of a power stroke and the complaint was uh, this was leaking coolant into the engine. So we wanted to get it sent in and check it. One of the things we're proposing is the factory OEM intercooler. It gets weak under certain conditions, tuned trucks, um, high coolant temps, high boost. It's not good the way this thing's put together. What this one has done is it's cracked internally. So through the coolant passages, it's actually leaking into the air passages. So it's cross-contaminating and the customer is experiencing a loss of coolant, burning coolant, and the smell of coolant in his exhaust. So we had it sent in and we put it in our dunk tank and we pressurized the coolant passages with 10 PSI of air. For safety, we only limit it to 10. Stick it underwater, see where the bubbles are coming from. So we're gonna do some further tests, but this is indicative to the complaints we're hearing and why we're making a bar and plate cast intercooler for the 6.7 Power Stroke. Whenever we develop new products, one of the first places we go is the flow bench. On our flow bench, we test multiple different cores against one another. And what this does is this gives us a lot of good data points on the different flow characteristics that each one of the cores provides. This is our 6.7 Power Stroke. It's one of our uh, work mules that we test a lot of our parts on. So what Jason's doing is rigging up all our test equipment. So when this goes on the dyno, we're taking all these temperature uh, measurements and a whole bunch of other stuff when it goes on the dyno and we're testing the efficiency of our inner core. So our upgraded unit, it's uh, all our end tanks are casted and then we have that super beefy uh, air to water core. And just by looking at this thing, you can see how strong it is. You wanna turn your boost up? I don't think this thing's gonna go anywhere. We're trying to rig up a bunch of sensors on the coolant lines and on the air lines of the intercooler to gather some data. We're not going to really know how well this intercooler performs until we actually get some raw data. So to do that, we've plumbed into the uh, coolant lines as well as the air lines. We want to get the temperature of each one, and we also want to get the pressure going into the intercooler on the air side and out of the air side. What that's going to do is it's going to give us a really good idea on how efficient this intercooler is. So this core is uh, composed of a bunch of stacked plates that are brazed together. Every one of these stacked plates, that's a potential failure point on this intercooler itself. The intermission motor intercooler being cast on all four sides gives the core added strength, as well as a core that's rated to well over 1,000 horsepower. So now our next step is to get this truck hooked up to the dyno and start doing some testing. We're mimicking typical towing speeds, as well as RPM, to try and see if our intercooler is going to deliver better cooling, as well as help out with other engine parameters. So what we're doing real quick is putting a lot of miles on these trucks. So the 6.7, our air to water intercooler fits both models. So we put about 2,000 miles on this older white one here. Now we're swapping it over to the newer 6.7. And we're just trying to go through all types of weather, uh, storms, heat, humidity, just really putting a lot of miles on these intercoolers just to make sure we are good with our design before we release it to market. So we wanna make sure this was welded up properly. Coolant flows through here makes a U-turn and out as the air is going through. So you have coolant going this way and air going this way, and that's how it cools it. So it's an air to water unit. I'm trying to make it fail on the road to make sure this is a proper way to weld this thing together. Just part of the R&D process. So now we're gonna swap it in from this old 6.7 to a new 6.7. Put the stock intercooler back on this, put some miles on it, and then take this unit and transfer it to the truck and continue the testing on it. So we want to put it through a lot of torture on the road before we uh, start selling them. Besides developing products on our own vehicles, we also reach out to the community for donor vehicles. 
We found a highly modified truck, perfect for testing our upgrade intercooler and conducting these tests right here within our engineering facility. So behind me strapped to the dyno is a 6.7 Power Stroke. And what we're doing, taking some numbers. That thing has just about every modification except our intercooler. And that's what we're doing. So we're pitting the factory OEM unit versus our really awesome air to water intercooler. Got the truck turned all the way up, seeing what power it makes on that unit. Then we're just swapping ours and seeing what gains we make with our intercooler. So we have nine straps holding this truck to the dyno. We took every safety precaution to make sure it stays in place. It makes so much torque, we didn't want the truck to go anywhere. We didn't want any of our dyno runs or any of our data skewed, so we made sure it's staying put. So watch this thing spin the rollers. So we just finished up our dyno comparison between the factory OEM intercore and our unit. So let's head on over to the dyno screen so I can show you the difference between the intercores and explain the gains we made. So I'm at the dyno screen and I'm going to go in a little more detail on why our intercore made more gains in certain areas than the OEM unit. So follow me around and I'll explain this. Alright, so our intercore is stronger, it's cast, it's welded right, it's got this bar and plate design on the inside. It flows so much better than the OEM unit, and you can visibly see that on these lines. So the green lines with ours, the red line was with the stock unit. You can see how much better the power is coming in on the delivery. It eventually levels off. This probably has to do with the amount of boost the truck's running and the tune that's on this thing. This thing's fully tuned. It's got every modification on it, including our inner core now. So you can see down low from off idle when we start the dyno test and start the sampling, you can see the difference between the two lines. So the power's coming on much better much sooner because ours flows better. So to go more in depth and further detail, I'm gonna let you listen to the engineer on the project to explain this further. So we know that having a stock truck with a stock tune on dyno, we picked up 40 torque and 13 horsepower. We wanted to see how our intercooler did with a truck as heavily modified as the one behind me. This truck has a lot of stuff on it, and now it has our intercooler. We noticed that from our dyno graphs that the power comes on sooner and comes on faster, as well as the torque. That's has to do with the fact that our intercooler flows 20% better than a stock intercooler. So our numbers here are showing that the horsepower and the torque are coming on a lot sooner in the rev range than you would typically notice with a stock intercooler. This has to do with the fact that the very restrictive stock intercooler has been removed and our intercooler that flows 20% better has been added. That allows that boost to hit the engine a lot faster. Now all of this, you're going to be able to feel that driving around town. These horsepower and torque numbers, those are where you're using your truck most of the time. And for our final third party testing, we sent a unit to Leadfoot Diesel for some serious abuse. They had the right truck for our knees. It's a built truck, runs over 60 pounds of boost, and makes over a thousand horsepower. The intercooler received high praise from Leadfoot Diesel, which the feedback is very important to us as a manufacturer. So there you have it. That is a wrap on our 6.7 Power Stroke intercooler development. We not only engineered this really beefy unit, but we also gave you a bunch of color options. Wrinkle blue, wrinkle black, and wrinkle silver. So click the link in the description on how to get yours.